Here we have a microwave company has determined their marginal cost. Remember, marginal means derivative and marginal revenue functions in dollars per X units. So we have C prime, which is the derivative of cost. It's called marginal cost when we talk about money. And then we have R prime is the derivative of revenue, which is also called marginal revenue. And from these derivatives, we want to find some totals. So when you're going from the rate of change to the total change, remember you're taking the antiderivative. So we're doing initial value problems again here. So we have the company has also determined that the fixed daily cost incurred in production is $780. And we want to find the total cost function CX. So we want to go from the derivative C prime back to C. And again, just for good measure, our three IVP steps are to take the integral. That's how we're going to get from C prime to C. Our second step, we're going to find the initial value C plus C that we'll have at the end. We'll solve for it. And then we're going to write the equation. Okay, so let's do that for this problem. So C of X, what we're trying to find, the total cost given the derivative, C prime, marginal cost. We're going to first take the antiderivative. And so we have 0 0.0003 X squared minus 0.11 X plus 18. All I'm doing is copying down this C of X down here because we're going to take the antiderivative of it, so I need a dx on here. And this is my first step, and I'm ready to integrate. So I do 0 0.0003, my constant here, would get divided by my new power. So 2 plus 1 is 3, x to the 3, minus 0.11, and that's going to get divided by, well, the power was 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, x to the 2, and then the antiderivative of any constant, we're going to use that for 18, the antiderivative is going to be 18x, and this one, do I need a plus c or an evaluation bar? Well, there's no bounds on the integral, I'm back to having a plus c, which is perfect because my second step is to figure out what c is. Is there an initial cost? So let's think about it. If you pay taxes or you rent out a building, no matter what, if you want to start a business, even to just get the license to start a business, there is a cost to that. So no matter what, we should have an initial cost for C, and it tells us what that is. That even if they make zero of something, their fixed daily cost, no matter what they do that day, it costs them $780 to own the company. So this one is nice. It tells you C is $780. Either it tells you what C is, or you can figure it out using some common sense, like we did with those packages. The initial packages inspected had to be zero because they just walked into work at Amazon. So this one is given to us instead of having to use common sense, which is nice. So my third step is to write the final answer then. So capital C of X, the total cost, and I'm just going to simplify so that it's easier to write in to WebAssign or plug into my calculator. Um, so 3 divided by 3, when you plug in 0 0.0003 divided by 3, you're just going to get 0 0.0001 X cubed. And then 0.11 divided by 2, I'm going to have a minus 0.055 x squared, and all I did was divide out those coefficients, plus 18x, plus 780. And again, how you check your initial value uh, problems, if you wanted to double check that it was correct before even using an attempt in WebAssign, you would take the derivative of each term and make sure you get back to C prime. And the other thing you'd plug in is C of 0 and make sure that your fixed daily cost when making nothing is 780. So we would see both those things are true because this is correct. Okay, so then part B, we have the total cost in producing the first 600 units of microwaves per day. That's what we want to find. So if I want to find the total cost, do I want to plug into C prime or to C? Well, we said the derivative of cost is also called marginal cost, and it's not saying find the marginal cost for 600, so that's kind of a hint right there. And we know that when we do an antiderivative, we find total or net change. 
if it asks for instantaneous change or change at one instant, it would be the derivative. But if you're trying to find the total or net change, that's the antiderivative. So we're going to plug into the equation we just found. Up above here, we're going to do C of 600. So we grab our calculator, we're doing 0 .000, be sure to have all those zeros in there, 1 times 600 cubed minus 0 .055 times 600 squared plus 18, ooh, I missed an X up here, times 600 plus 780. Didn't quite copy down my whole antiderivative correctly, so part B saved me. So when you plug in 600 for all those x's, you get $13,380. There's their total cost for making 600 microwaves in a day.